Harry Armstrong with us at Stock Riverside Vikings football. Here, hey, midway point is already over. We're getting into week six. Uh, let's talk about uh, you know Reese Gahan and the job he's done. Finally, a senior played since his freshman year and set records, keeps going. Him and your quarterback. We'll talk with Chase a little bit too, but uh, let's talk about Reese. Well, well, Reese is uh, somewhat of a unicorn as far as I'm concerned. Uh, he, his ability to do whatever our team needs to help us get a W, he's all about. Uh, he, he's setting tons of records of wide receiver. But right now, I don't know how many guys can say it. The midway point in the season, they have over 400 yards receiving, 400 yards rushing, and 400 yards passing, and more than five touchdowns in each of those categories as well, or, or near that. Uh, I mean, so his impact on the game is really next level what he's able to do. And on top of that, he, he's such an unselfish player too. He's he's willing to do the things that are necessary to open up other guys too. So with all the attention that goes to Reese, there's times he's getting double, triple teams and two or three guys keying on him. And it's really starting to open things up for some other guys like Chase Sedonia, quarterback, and some of our run game stuff in those regards. Let's talk about his leadership, how he leads mm -hmm. with this team and just, you know, doing whatever he has to do to help this team win. Yeah, well, but he's a, he's a leader by example first. His, his work ethic is, is second to none. He loves to compete in everything he does, whether it's in the weight room, training, uh, pre-practice drills, all the way through from start to finish. So so he's got that dog in him. He really wants to go at a high motor all the time, and uh, and, and that's how he sets his example, and he does a great job trying to help out our younger players and some of our newer guys into the program uh, learn as much as they can, too, and get those acclimated. Uh, so he does a great job. You guys have fought injuries. When you're at a small school, mm -hmm. it gets even tougher. Uh, let's talk about you know guys stepping up. I know Garvey got banged up. Let's talk about Chase and, and how he's responded for you. Well, well sure. Um, I mean, that's where we're kind of started. Robbie Garvey out first, re-stepping in at running back. Then Chase got hurt, re-stepping in at quarterback. So that's kind of how all these things grew with that. Uh, but with those things, other guys have really had to step up in the roles. Uh, uh, Chase, he takes a little bit of a running back approach to the quarterback position as well, too. Uh, so that's one of the things where he's stepping up for somebody like Robbie Garvey still being out. Um, and, and that really is really helping our offense get to another level, too. We go back, uh, I guess it was the beginning of August, or we were mm -hmm. talking to a bunch of linemen on your yeah. team, guys that are, you know, hit the weight room hard and growing. Let's talk a little bit about, you know, where you're at here as we enter week six of the season. Well, um, outside of a couple guys like Robbie Garvey we're talking about health-wise, we're, we're trending in the right direction. I, I feel like we're about to really hit our peak towards the end of the season, and that's something that we're aiming for. So uh, we're trying every week to get a little bit stronger, faster, and healthier. You can see here we're on a we're on a Wednesday. We're out here in just helmets and, and jerseys right now. We actually had an off day yesterday, too, trying to take a midseason, regenerate these guys, get them going, so a little different approach here halfway. But it's really important that these guys are healthy, happy, and having a good time through the second half of the season. Love the approach at this point. A lot of teams still grinding, still hitting it hard. But, you know, it, it takes a coach with experience to know, you know, when to push a little bit, when to pull back a little bit, coach. Good to catch up with you and uh, keep it going here at Riverside. All right, thank you.